Uh, hi there, welcome to my studio. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, short demonstration on how to paint uh, a blue sky with some white clouds. Okay, we have our watercolour paper ready to start. We've marked off the horizon. I'm going to be using two brushes, size 12, sable watercolour brushes. Okay, I'm using three colours in this demo. Cerulean blue, alizarin crimson and Naples yellow. Great colours for skies. Okay, before I start painting, I'm just going to practice on a piece of scrap paper, mixing my colours. If I mix the blue and the azilla and crimson together, I get lovely purples. If I add some Naples yellow, I get lovely warm oranges and golds. And if I add all three colours together, I get the perfect greys for my sky, for my clouds. To paint my sky, I'm going to use the flat edge of my brush, moving the brush down the page along that flat edge. OK, I'm going to start painting my sky using the uh, cerulean blue, using the flat edge of my brush going gently up to the edges of the clouds, leaving some broken edges and gradually softening the, drawing the paint out. Now with a mixture of cerulean and alizarin crimson, I'm going to paint the purple undersides of the clouds, adding more blue, varying the colour going back and softening the edges of the clouds. You don't want all hard edges in your picture. You want a mixture of soft edges and hard edges. Now I'm going to add some Naples yellow to the picture, to the painting, just to warm up the tops of the clouds, blending it in with the brush. Uh, make sure you've got plenty of water on your brush. Keep the brush moving all the time. Nice fluid brush strokes. Blending the colours in. OK, add some more blue to the mixture. Working your way down towards the horizon. Plenty of water on your brush. Slightly paler. Now I'm going to add some blue at the top again, just to make that a little bit stronger. It'll also make my clouds stand out more. The paint's still wet up there, so it all blends in fine. OK, now I'm going to add the shadow underneath the uh, bottoms of the clouds. This will give them more shape and form. OK, I carry on across the painting, adding more, mix, uh, more, more shadow, which is a mixture of all three colours. Crimson, alizarin, cerulean and Naples yellow. Just adding the last shadows at the bottom, slightly paler as you get towards the horizon. Now you can see the clouds have nice shape and form, those lovely summery clouds. A few indications in the distance of the distant clouds. All this has taken about five minutes to paint. You can see how quick watercolour is. OK, there's the finished sky, a nice simple summery sky. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration. If you did, check out my website and uh, come back for some more another day.